If you're a projector in human design and you're looking for a way to design a business around your energy type that is not going to lead to burnout, but instead lead you to success, then this video is for you. I'm going to be sharing my personal journey of how I've been able to pivot my business from being a very manifesting generator type business to one that is much more in alignment with my projector energy. My goal in sharing my story is to start attracting other projectors that are also also looking to design a business around their projector energy type so that we can all mastermind together. So if that's you, please go ahead and drop a comment below letting me know what led you here as well as what kind of projector you are. Whether that's splenic projector, emotional projector, you're a mental projector with no inner authority or anything like that. Go ahead and drop your comments below and I look forward to getting to know you. Quick little background for you, I'm Amanda Horvath and on this channel I help eliminate the obstacles to getting you sitting where I'm sitting right now in front of the camera sharing your message with the world. I discovered human design back in May of 2020 and have been obsessed with how to use this body of knowledge in order to design my business to better match my energy type as well as help my clients do the same. So if you're interested in doing that then be sure to subscribe as well as check out the helpful resources in the description below to get you up and running. The way I'm going to approach this video is by diving into four specific key points that were really big in helping me make this shift within my business that I think that a lot of projectors will resonate with. So if you do, as you go through this video, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. The first key point is avoiding burnout. Now, as a projector, we are all prone to burnout. We absolutely love absorbing all of that juicy life force energy that comes in from all those generators around us and becoming the super doers of the world, feeling like we can work twice as hard and accomplish twice as much as everyone around us. But the reality is we do not have consistent access to energy and when you're operating in that way it leads to burnout and it can take twice as long to recover. So if I go back to where I was when I discovered human design, I was amidst my first year of the online course business where I had already pivoted away from running a one-to-one -one type business where I was shooting and editing videos for clients and I pivoted to a one-to-many type business where I had an online course that was teaching people how to shoot videos for themselves. And in doing this, it felt like that shift should have been way more in alignment with my energy, which in some ways it was because it was one to many versus one to one, but the way that I was marketing it was not. So I think that there's two things specifically to look at whenever looking at how to adjust your life for avoiding burnout. It's how you deliver your services as well as how you market them. So what I did in 2020 was I went hard in terms of the live launch model. I created a course and then I would do all of this work to get all of these pieces in place and then do a big launch where I would have four live webinars that I did that had a ton of emails on the back end going out with it. And, after, and I did that three times throughout 2020. And by the end of the year, I was so burned out. I was like, this does not match my energy and I did not want to do another one. So that was kind of the first aha moment that the type of business that I had created even though delivering my services did feel like it matched my projector energy, because the marketing strategy did not, it was leading to burnout and I knew something had to change. As projectors, we do not necessarily want to wait for the invitation. And I certainly was not one that was used to doing this, especially as someone that grew up in a family of manifesting generators and I was taught that you have a dream, you go out and you make it happen. So learning to wait was a big part of the process. And what I learned is that there were two things that immensely helped in order to be able to sit back and get used to the slower energy of being a projector and watching things effortlessly unfold by following the strategy and authority instead of going out and initiating. The first is to really Pay attention to which systems you're being called to dive deeper into. Now, at this moment in time, I was becoming obsessed with human design and I was just being pulled into it and wanted to get more and more information about that. 
So instead of wanting to initiate and create a new offer with human design, I decided to sit back, wait for the invitation, and keep deep diving into the body of knowledge on my own. The second thing that I did was start the deconditioning process so that I could better connect to my strategy and authority. And the way that I did that was by asking the not self questions related to all of the open or undefined centers within my chart. So do I know when enough is enough? Do I think I have something to prove? Am I avoiding confrontation and truth? I have a lot of white centers within my chart so I could keep going. And I do have a quick start guide to human design that is linked in the description below where I break all of this down if you do wanna check that out. But that is something that was incredibly helpful for me to be able to focus my energy on while waiting for the invitation. Because as projectors, we need to focus our energy somewhere because we have this focused and absorbing aura. So instead of focusing on all the things that people need to change or the, where we can give guidance, if we shift that focus to what system do I want to develop and where can I decondition, then it gives you natural ability, this natural ability to wait for the invitation. The third key point is stepping up as a guide. And I had a lot of hesitation towards doing this because from a business standpoint, I specifically saw being a guide as being a coach doing one-to-one -one coaching. And I had a lot of hesitation towards this because when I looked at that kind of business, it seemed like a manifesting generator business where you pack your schedule filled with one-on-one -on -one coaching calls and you're doing it back to back and that is not something I wanted to do. When I reflect upon my story, I had already at this stage switched my business from being a one-to-one -one business where I was shooting and editing videos for clients to a one-to-many business with the online course business where I was teaching other people, groups of people, how to do it. So being able to kind of switch back to stepping up as a guide and being okay with one-to-one -one coaching what, how I was able to make that transition was by really waiting for the invitation, sitting back and realizing that I was already a guide. It was naturally occurring in my life. People would hit me up all the time and I was just giving advice away freely. There were tons of invitations coming in through my DMs, through talking to my friends or anything like that. And what I realized was that if I could just give people an opportunity to work with me further, then they would actually take me up on it. So what I started to do is whenever invitations came in, people were asking for advice, I would say, hey, I would love to hop on a coaching call with you and I would send them my Calendly link where it would have a payment option on there and then they would book a call with me and people started booking calls. So to tie this back to you, I would look at where are people in your life already coming to you as a guide in that area that you could turn around and be able to monetize that. Now, one other key point in this area that helped me step up as a guide is realizing that I don't need to have all of my income coming from one stream of income, AKA being a coach. Personally, I have designed a business that has multiple streams of income coming in via passive income. YouTube ad revenue coming in from this channel, as well as affiliate marketing revenue, as well as course sales that are still happening behind the background because I didn't mention this earlier, but I pivoted my business from marketing with the live launch course model to the evergreen course model. And I talk about that a lot on this channel. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe and check out the other videos on that. Key point number four is effortless marketing. And this is when you're able to take your design, your specific unique design and develop a marketing strategy that matches it. And this can get really specific according to your chart. So it's not just a projector thing. It's more about the specificity of the gates that you have, the channels that you have, your profile and all of that. Now I did another video where I deep dove into how I did this for my, uh, my own brand. So I will link to that in the cards as well as in the description below for you to check out if you would like to. But to give you an example, just looking at my profile, I gained a lot of clarity about how to market my business. So I am a 4-1 profile in human design. So it made me super aware of how important my network is. So 
back up a little bit. I was previously trying to market to strangers and get my message out there and expand my network as much as possible and it was moving very slowly. But if I used my natural energy and the role that I'm here to play, being that 4-1, and lean more into my network, then things could feel a lot more effortless and it would work a lot better. So today, I value networking a ton and it's just about building relationships and looking at the relationships that I've already formed in the past and looking at what invitations are coming from that area rather than waiting for new ones to come from strangers. So it's kind of like letting go of how your energy doesn't work so that you can lean more into the strengths. So there you go. That's my story of how I was able to shift my business from being a very manifesting generator type business to one that matches my energy. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please be sure to click like so we can get it out to more projectors out there, as well as drop your comments below with your thoughts and what you have found to be helpful in how to design your business around your projector energy type. And since you've made it this far in this video, clearly this is a subject that you are interested in and if you would love another projector to be able to bounce ideas off of in order to brainstorm how to specifically design your business and marketing strategy around this then i would love to guide you in that area i will link to my coaching link in the description below where you can book a call with me thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video